Hello, Hello caviar, dreamers. caviar dreamers. What a great day. I mean, it's a little shitty outside. That's Again, right, though. It's, it's, it's okay. fabulous inside. It's fabulous inside. I have my socialite look on. Um, I don't know who I am. Bunny Melon. I'm not Bunny Melon. I don't know. Bunny, Bunny, Bunny Melon. Melon. She's this big socialite. Well, I have lip gloss in my mustache, so I don't know who I am. Mr. Barbuda. Mr. Barbuda. But you know what? I'm super excited. I have my dear friend. Oh, my lips. I think I overdrew them because, you know, I know it had full glam. But anyway, I'm super excited because you know who we have on today? Ma- One have? of my closest friends, Melissa Guarga. Girl boss. Girl boss, Melissa Guarga. Envy Boutique. Real hottest, housewives in New hottest Jersey. Hottest housewife around. Hottest housewife around. No offense. I mean, we can't, you can't argue with that. She is No, like I the can't argue. I mean, the girl doesn't have an ounce of cellulite. She has no. olive oil in her fucking blood. She's gorgeous. Her skin is perfect. So skin, smooth. Yes, yeah, so smooth. But you know why I'm having her on? We don't need housewives on here just to gossip. We're having mm-hmm. her on because she's a real boss babe. That's right. She started Envy and it took off like crazy. She has amazing branded mm-hmm, merchandise mm-hmm. as well as stuff that she carries. And she hustles like no other. Yes, she's a hustler and I just I just love it. And it's like shopping her personal closet. If you want to look like Melissa Gorga, if you want to have her style, you shop at Envy. Everything looks clean, concise. It looks great on you. I buy a lot of things at Envy. She sends me stuff. And it's, you know, listen, she started, she was an Italian housewife. We're going to ask her about that and how she branched out. And she's changed over the years. She's a different person. She's grown. Yeah. Everybody's watched her grown on t- grow on TV. Which I can't imagine is easy. No, which is not easy. My husband's making a lot of noise in the kitchen. I'm really sorry about that because that's where our office is. He's, uh, our chairs are obviously squeaking. I'm super sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to text Melissa now, see where she is, see if she's coming on. Hi, are you coming on? Are you ready? Are you ready? I mean, she's very busy. She's also homeschooling the kids. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. But anyway, so we're just super excited because it's it's interesting, you know, because women change as they get older. Yeah, I think you grow, you your confidence grows so much and you're able to achieve so much more without worrying what other people think. I think that's what holds a lot of women back is giving a shit about other people's opinions. Yes, I do too. And I, and I okay, she's joining. She says she's joining she in a second. Here she is. Hi. Hello, girl. Oh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Did you connect to audio? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. You look beautiful. Oh, it's in a little black sweater. Little Hi, is that from Envy? Actually, it is from Envy. It is. It's actually like a couple year old one from Envy. But it, it's good. It's a classic. Ooh. It's an Envy by Melissa Gorga. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me make you guys so I can gallery view you. Oh, there you are. There we are. There we are. Hi. Hi. Thank you. I know. We miss you. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. We have this not been. Sucks. To this sucks. Like, I'm ready to run. Like, I'm ready to go. Yeah. I know. I know. I was just telling the viewers and the listeners that I'm having you on not because you're a housewife and one of my best friends because you are a boss babe mm-hmm. and that the world has seen you transition because you came on, you were the, just, you know, not just, but a hot Italian housewife <laughs> grown into like a major entrepreneur, you know, and everybody's seen you evolve and you know, that's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, listen, it wasn't easy to break through that karma of just like being on the housewives, especially when you, when you join the housewives and it's beginning, it was there yeah. was a karma around like, Oh my God, these crazy women that just want to be on TV. And like, they didn't really get that. There's like, no, actually business women inside here are very smart that are using this as their platform to go ahead and build things like Envy by Melissa Gorga and my whole influencer brand that I have. and Tremendous, um, tremendous influencer brand. Yeah, like there, there's a whole system to this along with sharing your personal life with the world, which isn't always easy, um, but there's a whole formula to this. So we're, we're a little smarter than y'all think. <laughs> exactly. But you know, it is not everybody does it as good as you have. A lot of people have started businesses on a show, obviously, which have tanked. You were one of the, you know, everybody's not successful doing it. You happen to be successful doing it. But first I want to talk about your background a little, because listen, not everybody knows like, you know what, your mother, Donna Marco, who I love very much, oh. she was a nurse growing up. Your father, 
you know, I re you know, I know a little bit about your dad, but he was in construction as well, right? Yeah, my father owned um, Kimberly Builders. It was named after my mother. So yeah, he was a hard worker. He used to build houses and flip homes for a living, like my husband, which is so crazy. Which um, is so crazy. So you yeah. watched your parents hustle. Yeah, my parents hustled. Um, yeah, they had nothing and they grew into like, you know, we weren't, I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth by any means. They were just like hardworking parents and they had their own struggles like in marriage and everything too. I've seen a lot growing up. Um, but that was it. I was always just had like this thing. I'm very close, you know, with my sisters. And yes, I love your sisters. Yeah, I have like a very close knit, like fun, close knit family. I really do. And so, um, I don't know, we just kind of, I, I met Joe and then it was just, I always had like this work ethic in me that I just wanted to go to work, but it probably does stem from just watching my parents who worked really hard. Yeah, they worked really hard. Your sisters still work. Everybody in your family is like the ultimate hustler. But you know what it is, Joe, like we know I'm married to like a Joe, you know, these traditional kind of Italian guys. So first he, you know, he wanted you home. You got married young, you know, you had the kids. So first, you know, you weren't working outside the house. You were raising the kids. Right. And I he mean, was a little he, bit more traditional. Yes. When he originally met me, I was working three jobs. And he yes. said, that's kind of, and I was going to college. So the same year I got engaged, I graduated college. And um, that was originally what kind of turned him on too. He was just like, I've never seen a girl work like, like I was just a workaholic, always have been. I was a hustler, paid my own bills. You know, I didn't have a father at a young age. My mother couldn't afford to. So I was living in an apartment. I was paying for it. I was paying for my car, all just like working in title companies, tanning salons, bartending, like, and going to school full time and just like paying for my books and getting student loans. Like I've always, I've always had a little hustler in me. I always did, but um, it subsided a little when I first got married and Joe wanted that very traditional. He wanted me to, to be the traditional cook clean. I'm going to go to work. You don't need to have a job. I'm going to take care of you. And, and it sounded amazing. It did. It sounded great. He was a great guy. And I did that for a while and I raised the babies. Um, and then, um, you know, cause I, I have a T I have a BA in K through eight. I'm a teacher technically. Yes. Don't yes. ask me about that now though, during the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I can't do like. anything. I try. I feel like <laughs> I, I suck at it. Oh, oh my I, think, God. I think school has changed yeah. so much also, which is so crazy. Yeah, like X minus. I'm like, don't you use your fingers to count backwards? 10, nine, eight, seven. No, no, no fingers. We don't use fingers. We don't do anything. I don't know, but um, <laughs> besides for the hard algebra I'm doing with my fourth grader, um, yeah, I'm, I'm technically, I was growing up to be a teacher. Um, it never really happened because the first year, you know, I met Joe. So to make a long story short, I did stay home for a long time and I was a good wife and a good mom and I still am, but I really, really, I wasn't feeling fulfilled because I wanna go to work. Like I love to work. I like to feel successful in my own right like mm -hmm. along with being a successful wife and a mom and all that, that's something I always wanted. But I'm, I was missing a piece of Melissa, which was like the hustler, the Melissa that is very independent. And I was feeling very, almost like dependent on someone. It basically, if I wanted, yes, to of course, of I wanted a $50 bill, money. I had to yes. ask my husband, you know, for a $50 bill. So um, the housewives came and then it was a really great opportunity. I saw not just uh, for something to do and be exciting and it was a hit show, but also to make money and to make a business out of it. Of course, which was, which was super smart. And listen, Joe's a big personality as well, right? And, and yeah. he was on it. So then it's just like you guys were on it together, but then it's also, then you were like, hey, I'm going to branch out and start Envy. What year was that? Right. So we just decided, I was just adding this up in my head. MB is going to be five. Five. So, that's a long time already. Congratulations. Yeah. Five years of envy. And I have to say, like, I know a lot of people get on these reality shows and everyone tries to figure out what their knack is and it takes a minute to figure out, but, but envy was definitely my thing. I, I realized that when I started, you know, you know how it is when you're on these shows, boutiques and clothing lines and everybody wants to send you things to wear. Yes, of course. <laughs> Right. And I'm wearing them and I'm selling and everyone's selling out. And I'm like, wow, I feel like I'm just doing favors for everyone all day. Why don't I have my own? Obviously, if I'm dressing myself cute and people are liking 
how I wear it, well, then I should be selling what I'm wearing for myself, not for other people. That's smart. And that's when I kind of opened my eyes to like, this is a business here and I'm not even realizing it, you know? Yeah. I think you're, I was saying prior to us, uh, you coming on, you're very on brand and I feel like Envy is very shop Melissa Gorga's closet. Right. You know, and I think like everything you have in your store is something that you would wear is your personal style. So I think that's what's very good about you is everything is very, uh, you're always very on brand, which a lot of people aren't. Right. And listen, if I wanted to go broader and I do go, I, I branch out a little bit here and there with all of it. But, the, but if I wanted to go broader, I would have a department store. I really wanted to keep it very Melissa Gorga driven and very like, hey, you like this? You like how I dress? Well, this is where you can get it, you know? And, and keep it tight until you never know. One day I could maybe expand, have a larger store where I could put more things into it and figure it all out. That's why I just did the men's, just to like branch out a little bit with men's clothing. Um, but yeah, I think it was definitely hard to get my feet wet, wet and like opening a small business. That's something I never did. I don't know how to do. And I was truly doing that without the help of my husband. And I didn't want the help of my husband. I just, I just simply, and I know he would be happy to, I just wanted something that was mine and that he doesn't need to ask me about. And that it's like, I don't really ask him too much about what's going into the building that he's building or what the plumbing's going to look like because you know it's not really my thing and he has that for himself and i wanted something for myself that i don't need to depend on you for i'll figure it out that the money from envy is going to pay its own bills and it's going to function itself without reaching into anyone else's pocket or our own personal pockets and that's really what i wanted to create something that pays for itself plus brings Revenue and yeah, revenue. which brings income into the family. Which yes. is impressive. Yes. I think that I mean I think I love that because it also shows your kids, you know, to be independent. Shows your daughter that it's important to be independent. Yeah, of you course. Know. Yeah, I love showing her that because listen, there's no we're, we're we're I'm raising privileged children. There's no if, answer, but I'm not going to be in denial. They live in beautiful homes. They have beautiful cars. They have shore houses. They have, you know, it, it's it is what it is. I realize what they're seeing and what I'm raising. But I also, my children are not looking at it like, oh, this is going to come easy because they see their mother and their father work like dogs every day, like animals. Even in the quarantine, we're figuring, like Joe's like, we're working, we're working. So it's like, they know that good things come from hard work. And they both know that mommy and daddy were not born like rich kids. We weren't born into this, that we both, you know, Joe's a kid from Patterson. I'm from Tom's River, New Jersey. I grew up on the beach. Like, we both made this life, you know? Yeah. And by the way, you're working constantly. You become a major influencer brand, which is very, very impressive. You know, people don't realize that that's a whole career run to itself. <laughs> it is. You know? I'm exhausting one. It should like, not be round a bond. Let me just tell you, it's a business and, and it has to be very authentic. You know, Margaret, you're not going to put anything out there that you don't like. No, you don't exactly. Like, like there's certain things that are that are perfect for you that aren't perfect for me. Mm -hmm. And there's things that are perfect for me that you you don't need to advertise. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's like, you're not of the age that you have to advertise certain things. I mean, granted, thank God I'm not doing Depends yet. You know, I'm not <laughs> being like, but no, but I'm saying there's certain things that are perfect for you. And people, you know, want to build an impressive influencer brand and, and you have done that compared to many other housewives, which I think is also very impressive. Your following is genuine. You know, you have an amazing engagement. No, but that's also very, very impressive because you are authentic and you never have negative social media. You don't say stupid shit like some people we know. Which oh, Lord. Some people just don't know what to do. You know what? Some people just show too much. It's like, we don't need to see you doing that or eating the brownie or walking across. Like, we... Like, just like monitor it a little bit and make it interesting. Cause you know, we have some friends that just want to put everything on, I know, it's on painful. our Instagram it's painful. story. And it's like, we don't like, I'm like, nope, we don't even like be interesting, you know, or else say nothing at all. And be authentic. Yes. I think it's yeah. so hard when you see people's lives and it's like, that's not who you are. Like right, right through it. Yes. And I love, and I think like you, you show your real self. And I think that's what, that's why people love you so much. Now, listen. I always say this, you don't have any cellulite. Have you always been in very good shape? <laughs> I always <laughs> say that. No, because you are. You happen to be in magnificent shape. Like I, I've said it, during this quarantine, you've been working out. I've been eating a lot. You told me you've been working out twice a day. I have. I'm not going to lie. I take advantage of it. I will tell you, though, it makes me feel good. I, 
I don't know if that's who I've, um, I've made myself in, in some which way. Listen, it is genetics. I was always on the thinner side. I was always very muscular. It's always, it's been genetics too, but if I could very easily not keep up with the gym, eat like a crazy person and not look like this. So it's not, I'm not saying- really? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen one picture of you where you've looked heavier. No, I've never- Even younger. You Joe tells me, that, and it's actually the truth, the heaviest I ever was, was when I met Joe, and it was my last year of college, and it was kind of like that going, I was single, I was going out, who was taking me to buy me a steak? What, oh, we were making bottles of wine every night, drinking, eating, like that college bod. But I mean, for me, that was about like seven pounds heavier than I am now. And I looked oh, better. I know. That's like one meal for me. <laughs> I know. Exactly. My seven pounds like could be like, you know, if I eat too much in one, if I, if I eat too much in one week, Jesus Christ. No, but like, yeah, no, listen, I, you know me, I do like to keep, I'm, I love the gym. I enjoy looking good. It's also part of um, who I am too, where I am a, a mom of three that like likes to show, and that's the brand right there, that I don't believe in like getting sloppy. No, 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 no. Just because you're a mom of three, I'm still going to eat right. I'm still going to go to the gym. I'm but still you do eat. I don't want people to no, think that you don't eat because you are an eater. I do, I'm either. do I'm eat a, I'm a workout. Foodie. foodie. Margaret, am I a foodie? Yes. Where every time we go out, you're a chronic orderer, and I'm very impressed by it. I like what it. What about even when we're filming, and if they, they make me wait too long to eat? You go crazy. You I, know, look at, an eater. I don't want people to think that she's not an eater. I mean, this it's unfortunate and I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. This girl could eat whatever the fuck yeah. she wants. I don't like I'm it. Hungry. I'm always hungry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> no, the truth pregnant. is I eat, and this is like, Dolores will tell you this because she always says this about me. I eat every couple hours. So like, I won't eat a huge, like don't give me the whole huge meal, but every couple hours I need something, whether it's like carrots in my mouth, let's eat a salad, let's eat whatever it is. I just eat a little bit like every couple hours. And that's really what I do do. I very rarely eat like this big meal that's in front of me. Um, unless I'm like out to dinner, I do. And you know, I order the dessert. I, I go for it. Yeah. Yeah. You're definitely, you definitely order a good amount of food. But I also work out. So the next morning I'm up and I'm working out. I know. I you give know you a I mean? lot of credit. Mm -hmm. I just, I cannot get up early, but you also, you're a girl. I mean, I've shared room with Melissa. This girl could put her head on the pillow. She passes out in two <laughs> seconds. She's like, ah. I mean, I can't, I can't do that. You're a good sleeper. I am. I am. We've had to share rooms, Margaret and I. And I'm just like, she's on the phone with you, Lexi. Yeah. Or whoever. When we're done filming or Joe's going, she's butt naked, meanwhile, while we're doing yep. it. Yes, yes, it's the true. It's Marge. true. The naked Marge. The Marge like, and she's just naked. going, 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 and I'm out. Like, I don't even yeah. know what's happening anymore. I'm I know, I know. I'm she's not. a good sleeper. Even... She like could stay up till two in the morning on the phone, then wake up in the night, sending me messages at like 4 a.m. I'm like, what are you doing? I know. I have a weird thing. I get a thought in the middle of the night. I can, you know, feeling creative <laughs> at any given moment or whatever is happening. So tell me like, okay, let's go back to business one second. So tell me, what has Envy been doing? How have you been like driving the business? Because this is hard time. Like I said, my business is in the share because I sell major retailers. Right. Everybody's closed. We've been yeah. feeling creative. And a lot of those retailers also don't have e-commerce. So like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, they don't sell online. You have a big online business. Right. That's is impressive. Envy is still a small business. So we are suffering just like everyone else. I mean, a lot of my business because of the fans and our, our walk-ins. I do have a, a ton of brick and mortar traffic go through my store because of mm -hmm. you know, the show and everything. Um, but thank God we do have a pretty strong online business we do we have a presence online that is pretty amazing and because you know i can push some things out there i mean I'm, that's the only thing i can say to everyone who um has anything that's online right now is just keep pushing it because people are sitting there they're looking at it and, and a lot of people don't have money right now so it's difficult and it's just not the right time but as long as you can like i'm pushing through i'm paying the bills for envy we're doing what we have to do through the online sales but and be suffering right now, just like every other small business. I mean, it really is. But I will say the online is what's really keeping us afloat. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's that's what I say. We're selling some jewelry online, but we're not. Listen, my stuff is to the major retailers, and everybody's and closed and, until we open again. You know, we just gotta suck it up and 
and and trying and get through. But what do you, what do you see next for Envy? We we added men's. I always say you should do a line of bathing suits because you sell so yes. many bathing suits. I know, I know. I did say that maybe eventually I would come out even with just a small capsule of something. So maybe either the, I have two ideas: something with bathing suits, just because, or fitness wear because it's big with me, and I, it's actually something I wear a lot of. Yes. Um, you know, like athleisure wear. But I was thinking of doing maybe like a small capsule that you can get like a box from Envy. And in there, there's something where it's a kimono. It's something, it's kind of like a one size fits all situation. Like you can, not one like size that. fits all, like you can pick your jean, you get a jean, you get a t-shirt, you get, like it's an Envy box and kind of see how that works out. So we're, we're actually looking into something like that right I now. Like that. I, I like that. I like it. Well, everybody loves, I like you. I think everybody loves your Envy sweatpants as well. Mm. Oh my God. I can't keep them in stock. I can't. And you know what? I picked a good one. I picked a comfortable one that really looks cute. I, I purposely went with a short name for the store. So it's not like some big, crazy Italian name that everybody does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Poor delicious. Like, la pasta, la bella. like no, yeah. I wanted it short, sweet. And that's why I did it like that. And I wanted very black and white. I was thinking of all of these things as I created my business. I knew that the logo was something that needed to sell also, you know, that was smart. I mean, listen, people, you're not just, everybody knows she's not just another pretty face. She's very, very smart. I think um, I would, you know, even though I feel like, you know, the show shows the side of your business, I don't think they show it enough. And I don't think people realize like, you know, same thing with me, they show a tidbit of our business, right? They don't show it enough. They and really people don't. and people don't realize, you know, all the effort that goes into it and that you have so many facets, you know, of who you are. And they oh, make it yeah. it's, it's like, it's and they make it look easy. They do. I think they make it look like I walk into this cute little boutique and I'm like, oh, what arrives today? And let me rearrange it and make it look pretty. Like, no, it was, it took a lot to get the orders back and forth. You're constantly going back and forth. You're seeing if you're going over on all of your numbers. The inventory is a whole thing. The online thing is a whole thing. Social media is a job in itself. Oh, believe me. I know. Plus the social media is a huge thing. Sending out the emails. I have to send, like, what are you going to put out? What are you going to push? How are you going to arrange it? What do you What do you think they're going to buy today? Like, there's a whole function going on behind the scenes of sale, sale, sell, selling, merchandising, the whole thing. So it's not as easy as it looks. It's not just like a cute little shop girl walking into her cute little shop. No, I know, and I think I think people take that for granted and think they could come on a show and just create a business. Right, and, and, that's, and that's, where, that's where they fail. That's where that's they, where they you know, I, on the show. There's only, I came on the business. You start a business on our show. We're the only two people who have a business. You're really the only two that are serious without everyone else trying to just say, Hey, I'll do this product or I'll do that. Like, I think we're, and that's why I was very happy when you joined the show. And I was told as you were joining that I was going to like you very much. Cause they're like, she's a businesswoman. We found someone for you that you could actually like speak to that's in business too. She's very successful. And I was so Thanks. excited to meet you. And, and, and you know me, you could tell me I'm going to like you all day long. If I don't like you, I don't like you. But no, I, exactly. I loved you in, uh, like instantly. Yeah, we bonded instantly. We did. And I, and you really, because you're, I, I like how your brain functions. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. And, then, functions. and then we're luck and we're, yeah, and we're lucky. Listen, and I love your fa your family. I'm obsessed yeah. with this. Oh, I know. You're like a family member. So you know, I know. I, like I, live, I live, I live for the family. family. Margaret gets invited to birthdays, Christmas, yeah. all the family, oh, yeah. all the family parties, the Marco family parties, but okay. also the husbands get along great. The two height challenge little husbands. Yes. They've been working together through this whole virus. They were actually today, they were on the hotline. My husband went to one of your husband's houses. I know. I know. I love that. They were. I love that. It's, it's a genuine thing, which is great. Well, Melissa, okay. I mean, I'm so glad everybody got to know like more of this side of her that, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's a big deal. She's a fabulous entrepreneur. She's a hot, hot babe. And you know, she, it's a great package and we're excited. We're hopefully we'll go back to filming. Yes. Oh my God. Like when this is crazy. I think it'll be sooner than later. You know, they don't want to leave Jersey off the clock for too long because then people will go crazy. So I know. I just want to talk about filming one second. Have you been watching New York? I haven't. I've been watching Beverly Hills. Oh, Me hold too. on. I, I stand corrected. I watched the last New York one with the pool and the naked and the boobs. I know. Do we need to get naked? Yeah, Do we need to say. get naked? I don't know. The first thing I 
thought of when I watched that, first of all, I just thought of you, Margaret, because if anyone's going to get naked in front of people, it's definitely going to oh, be. Well, I could be naked in front of you. I don't think I could be naked on camera. I know. I I know. Joe, Joe so said immediately, Joe was just like, if you ever do that shit. And he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> was like, Joe was watching it and he was like, this is like the, cr I said, literally they're like, they're the girls gone wild of housewives and it's like oh, yeah. they're actually probably the oldest ones in all, all the franchises great like, shape great shape first of all their shape i i said that too they mm. all look amazing but they're more wild than the rest they party harder the hamptons the party i was like they go like they're i know yeah. i know we're gonna have to be at your shore house this summer that's what we filming. we'll be like jumping naked in the pool <laughs> You know we're gonna film at my shore house. I'm like, are we gonna do a Girls Gone Wild night now? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We'll I don't see. know if we should. I was thinking they should. We should all the girls should have to stay in a house together for a week somewhere. Yeah, we have to do. Nice. We have to do something. You know, just to make it after all of this craziness something yeah. interesting. As long as Jennifer is healed from you know the COVID. Yes, which I think she probably is by yes, now. Yes, she is. Um, but yeah, I feel like we'll definitely do something crazy and fun. At least, I mean, this year we're going to definitely be staying in the United States. I don't see us traveling out. No, I don't see us no. traveling anywhere. But I, I, we'll do something, you know. But I, I just feel like the pressure the pressure's on. The pressure's These girls on. have gone crazy. Oh my God, and I don't even watch. And I watch it, I was like, wow. And then Ramona was pissed that nobody was helping clean. I was like, they're amazing. These girls are crazy. I love I it. Know. I know, they're I know, I know. Sex in the city. They are truly sex. And then the one guy was coming to wash the dog, right? And oh, the massage. It was and like, who's going to get him? Who's going to flirt with him? I was like, you know what it is? We're None of us are single. Well, that's the thing. We're well, so married. We're all so married and babied and kids. And I know. We're going to have to force someone to get divorced. Well, Teresa. Yeah. We have Teresa. I mean, we only have Teresa to, to play with at this point. And yeah, so we're going to have to force her, her to yeah. be, we're going to yeah. have to force her to be a slut. She's going to have to play with <laughs> <laughs> That's right. She's single now. We're gonna have to force her to be a slut. Could give us well, some someone lessons. has to play that role for us, and it's gonna have to be her. She's gonna have to show us the real what's going on over there. Exactly. That's we have no choice, but we're gonna have to force it. Well, Melissa, thank you so much. I so thank appreciate you. your time. Love Have you. your dreams, tuna fish budget. Okay, thank love you, my you. boss, babe. I love you so love much. You. I can't wait for us Bye. to be together. I know soon. I love that everyone got to see a different side of Melissa. The one she was talking about the inventory and running the store. Like the show doesn't touch on what a businesswoman she is. Exactly. Because listen, everyone looks at her and thinks she's like a hot babe. She's gorgeous. She's married to Joe. I don't think she gets all the credit she deserves. That's why I love her so much because there's a lot of facets of mm -hmm. Melissa Gorga that people don't realize. Everyone's like, oh, she's selling this. She's selling that. It's a lot of fucking work, people. It is. I love it when people say, oh my God, you know, she's Melissa Gorga. Of course she looks gorgeous. Do you know how much fucking work it takes to look that good? Yeah, that's, and that's, listen, it's not easy. It is natural. She has olive oil in her blood. Her skkin is magnificent. I'm not going to kid you. She doesn't have an ounce of cellulite, no. but she works out like a maniac. She does. Um, she maintains her appearance. She maintains her appearance. I don't want to hear it like, oh, that's money. That's money. It does not cost a lot of money to work out. I mean, no. I know a lot of rich, fat people. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yes or no? You know? Oh, yeah. You know? I know a lot of wealthy, fat people at cellulite. That's right. I mean, I'm not going to mention any, but you might be talking to one right now. <laughs> um, well, I'm a fat, poor person. So no, it's now. like, it, so no, the whole thing is, it's just, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I think it's underestimated. She just, you know, she's just not on a TV show. She does run a business. She has envy. She pushes it, pushes it, pushes it to be an influencer. Her influencer brand is very big. There's a lot of facets of her. Everybody's always like, oh, I don't want to see another stupid housewife pushing something. You know, brands pay you to do that because it does get the brand out there. And I want people to realize that. So this, I hope, inspires other influencers, entrepreneurs, you don't have to be on a TV show to be an influencer. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, that gets your following up quicker, but you can be an influencer. You could be a disruptor. You can be a leader. You can make a difference. Yeah, just be true to your brand. Establish just true to what your you brand. stand for. Yes, and her brand, you know, her brand was always about being fit, a sexy mom, yep. all of those things. Um, that has nothing to do with my brand, obviously, being so fit, but, you know, I'm a vintage glamour girl. That's good. <laughs> 
that likes to eat. We that like likes to, to eat, eat. Over here. I mean, she likes to eat too. But she that's what I love showing a different side of Melissa because I want people to see the side that I am. I was very much drawn to right from the beginning. And I love our husbands are both very big hustlers. Yes. And that's another reason as couples we're very close yeah, because similar work ethic. There was similar work ethic. We're both very, very driven. Yeah. And that and that's something also that we've heard from other people as we've gone like powerful couples do need to have that similar work ethic mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. it happen. Mm -hmm. If you have one lazy bastard, yeah. it doesn't work. No, it's not good. It I doesn't know. work. And all. a lot of people say to me, oh, Margaret, John doesn't work. Why does he finish your house? He's so lazy. He mooches off you. He I works mean, nonstop. He works nonstop. My husband works nonstop. I mean, nonstop. You know, and we don't say everything that we do. We don't, we don't need to do that. We don't, I don't need to say, he's doing this, he's doing this, he's doing that. And it's nice to keep some things private. Yeah, because it's just like he has other businesses that, you know, that he has partners that, that don't want to be involved, you know, in our public life. They didn't choose to sign up for that. No, not at all. Unlike me, who, you know, puts it all out there. TMI March. TMI March. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode with the fabulous Melissa Gorga. And you can find us at Caviar Dreams, Tuna Fish Budget on Instagram, The Real Margot Josephs, The Life of Mrs. B, and all of the information uh, linked to Melissa's website. Everything will be on margaretjosephs.com under the Caviar Dreams section. Yes, and obviously you guys know where to find her. Melissa Gorga, uh, Envy by Melissa Gorga, and um, that's where you find her. Okay, love you guys. Thank Keep you so dreaming. much. Keep dreaming, Caviar Dreamers. Bye. I feel like, am I really looking at you? Am I looking to the side? I know. It's like sometimes. I don't I'm know. Am I making a side face. smirk? Do I look like I'm not looking in the right place? I feel like I want to look at the camera, but then I don't feel like I'm looking in the right place. I make a lot of funny faces. I do make a lot of funny faces. I'm sorry. Bye. One last one. <laughs>